turning a dollar into a one billion dollar giveaway in 30 modules one step at a time and welcome to the only channel on youtube in fact the world where we are winging a billion and myself mark and mr big would like to thank you all for being back well, your draws ahead for your chance to be a winner how to turn a humble one dollar into a one billion dollar giveaway so hold on blast off and here we go hold on by using oriental philosophy is using one yang times one yang times in 21 time you ending up in wishing one million yang one million yang that is correct but in modern mark philosophy if you make one dollar times one dollar times 30 times you have one billion dollars and if you're new to the channel be sure to take advantage of five separate one million dollar draws by simply subscribing notification sharing commenting and liking so the spin on this one is if you can show me that aliens are not real, I will give you one million dollars. Not real. And if there are aliens out there, and one comes on the show, apparently there's 18 different species of aliens, apparently, don't have evidence. But um, if there are any aliens out there, they want to earn a cool five million gold because I know you like gold. All right. Now, if you just want to win five million dollars, any alien that comes on the show, right? You're done. You pay. Now, I don't think we're going to have any aliens in, coming in the show too soon. But the offer's there. It's in the philanthropy um, list, and well. Time will tell. Now you, the viewers out there, may have a merch product of their own. And if you would like to send in your product, preferably with the logo or the philanthropy logo, I'm pretty sure that if things turn out okay, licenses and everything, we'd be quite happy to add you to the family of merch. So, if you've got anything out there that you can 1 to 1 B or 1 B to 1. Okay. What we'll do is you can send in anything and we'll have a mailbox day. Yeah. So, Anything legal, guys. We'll keep it legal. And G, thanks. G, legal. Also, we will we will open a a shop, not a merch shop. That's a separate separate entity. Um, a a shop with different items. We'll leave it at that. Different items. And in my personal experience, um, my first job. Um, we're in a place called Adventureland, and let me tell you, it was my, it was still the best job I've ever had. Um, I was 10 year old, on Saturday I was earning $2, on Sunday I was earning $3, and from that I got to enjoy how to ride a horse, ride motorbikes, mini cars, Big Dipper, trampolines. A clown, yes, I was a clown, McNabb, um, 
with um, Beaver and Beaver and Marina, uh, the Indian. Anyway, yeah, I'm back, and um, yeah, it was probably the greatest job I ever had. And mate, the, the pay was great. <laughs> Two dollars to four dollars using the Viva. Now, I went out, I paid two dollars for the aloe vera, found a container at home, gave it a wash, cleaned it up, um, the aloe vera I put into here, label it, hopefully you can sell it for four dollars. So then, what I do now is, before I get any more <laughs> What have I told you about the merch, <laughs> Mr. Big? He's in there already. <laughs> this is fine. It's full on. Come here. Okay. Right, right, right. Now you know why I need a lot of this. All right. Now. Settle down, mate. <laughs> so, I'll get this done before I get more cuts on me. Spread this about here. All right. And then, we start rubbing on. Like that. It fixes everything. Zits, um, eczema, um, big foot bites, Mr. Big Bites. Pretty much does everything, eh? When it comes to skin. Very good. You can drink it. Yeah, you can get a lot of stuff with the old Alvira. Anyway, that's the secret weapon to, uh, and it's ongoing as you can see. It's work in progress for uh, Mr. Big. Chewing me up, eating, eating the merch. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> let go of the shirt. Let go. Let go. <laughs> let go. You want to fight that? You're looking for trouble. Are you looking for trouble? <laughs> <laughs> the off button. That's the off button. Yeah, okay, Mr. B. Alright, so here's the process. I'll give this a cut down here. Maybe I better, maybe I should put my safety glasses on because <laughs> you never know what could happen. <laughs> oh, we cut it out like that. I hope you can see that. Eh? Just slice it down there. I'm doing this on the fly, mate. Okay. Now, there's probably an easier way to do this, but just for the quick example, oh, look at that goodness in there. All right, of course, manufacturing it in a professional manner, you'd have a, a lot more uh, hydrogen than this, but we're just for the example's sake. Oh. Now, look at yours at home. That is 100% aloe vera. No added artificials, no preservatives, no stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Pure good stuff for the skin. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that remind you of something, eh? <laughs> oh, goodness. It's a mess. But you're getting the idea, yeah? Alright, so now it's going to take me an hour to fill this up. <laughs> there we go. Trust me, your skin will love this. Your worst wound at the moment, your knuckle wound. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Man. I don't think I'll do much to old leather face here. Maybe you should start putting it on your face. We'll see what happens, eh? Hmm. Bugger all your makeup, ladies. Throw it all away. Thank you, mate. All right, I've made a complete mess here. I didn't wipe it on my pants at all. I did not wipe it on my pants. <laughs> oh. Better not leave that on the side of that bottle. No one will buy it. Put that on. We'll put that on the merch. Oh, any profit from Mum's Garden? <laughs> Mum's Blend? I don't know. I don't even know how much you'll ever... I don't know. Maybe I better do my homework before I uh, set the price. One complete product now the next bit sell it in the fast Australian climate where you need to have protection on your skin again we use the good old aloe vera 
Now listen, viewers, you do not want to be using that skin stuff they give you. So that, that stuff will boil you up and kill you. Now this stuff here, this is the real deal, okay? Now, simply, I've already cut it open. You have to spread it open like this again, as I showed before. And what you do, you rub it all over you. Like that, put it all over you like this, on your face. All right, get it all over you. This will stop you from the sunburn, mate. Now, the true thing would be this afternoon, when I go home, we'll have a look. We'll have a look at all these rock lobsters. We'll see how red I'll mark at the end of the day. I'll put a bit more on the legs and um, catch you later. I better get this out in the early episodes. Now, if there's anyone out there that can help me, now I'm serious, if anyone can help me out there, I'm looking for a big, biggest oil tanker I can buy. All right? Leave your comments down there. If you are, uh, you know, you've got a spare oil tanker lying around because, you know, the, the oil industry is going, all right? Let's well, get bzz, 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 bzz. Or even maybe a bit of, you know, hydro, man. But anyway, all right? Oil tanker must be going. Preferably no rust, no water leaks, of course. In relatively good condition and pirate proof. And most importantly, it has to have a warranty. All right, it's got to have at least a how many how much warranty do you get on all tankers these days? A three year warranty, or is it past or is it past the the mileage? <laughs> Maybe I should ask the Anastasis. They would know how to buy ocean liners. Checking out the helicopter here, and then oil tankers, oil tankers everywhere. We love the oil tankers on this channel. How how lucky am I? Oil tankers. <laughs> hectic was that, eh? We will be on one of them oil tankers very soon. Stay tuned. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll be in Dubai soon. <laughs> I reckon I could get a good deal there. If you're asking, what the damn am I gonna do with an oil tanker? Well, of course you've got to watch the future episode. Today's call out goes to the Asteroid Blues, the coolest band in the planet. Thank you, Asteroid Blues. We love you on this channel. Okay, so the important bit, the ash bay bit. Right, so we started off in the first program. We forgot to add that in, of course. Uh, we started off with one dollar and it attracted another dollar. It actually attracted four dollars seventy, uh, which left our um, working account at two dollars and our flatty count at two dollars seventy totaling four dollars seventy in total this week we spent our two dollars on and we made four dollars in our investment which could lead to ongoing which will all the proceeds from the merch of the Aloe vera. Now, of course, look, you can just grow your own aloe vera plant, which I suggest more than anything. But if you don't have an aloe vera plant, okay, this could be an option. And as my arms are shown, they're getting better, well, except for this one. That's called knuckle screamer. <laughs> yeah, knuckle screamer. Anyway, yeah, I've, I've come a long way from building cars to knuckle screaming, but I still have a go. That's all we can do, keep going. Okay, so there's a new disease out called Disease X coming. All right, well look, don't know too much about this Disease X, but what I do know and what I do have is my original COVID-19. 
Yes, of yours. My original COVID-19. Have it in a bottle. So for the faint heart. So some people might have to close your eyes. We might will block it. There you go. All right, it's my genuine COVID-19. So if there's any scientists out there that would non-government, non-government scientist that would like to use my COVID-19 being 24 now, five years fermentation, I believe that this could be the future cure to all mankind's problems. Hear me out. I know you think I'm crazy. But I was a man that acquired COVID five times. Yeah, I got, I don't know if there was more, but I got five of them. And I miraculously survived. I went to hospital for another reason and they put me in with people with COVID and that's how I got COVID, in hospital. That's another story. So I am prepared to put my body on the line in the name of science and donate my COVID-19 for science purposes. And as I just said, hopefully that could be the cure. And now the fun bit, philanthropy. I thought I'd use this week's philanthropy for you and me helping each other. Through the week, I learned a thing called algorithm on YouTube. If algorithm gets better for me, I'm going to have to make algorithm get better for you. And this is the plan. Okay. So this is the how the algorithms can work for you. So it's come to my attention that with this algorithm, it works that the more, the more algorithm that happens, the higher the ratings go with the episode, Ash Bay, all the rest of it, all right? To keep the episode going, this is my idea. All right, so we have five separate one million dollar giveaways. When the channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, then Mr. Big and I shall double the prize money to five two million dollar giveaways. When reaching 100,000 subscribers, double the, the giveaway prize money to four million dollars times five, totaling $20 million. When we reach 1 million subscribers, then the giveaway is doubled. So five separate $8 million giveaways, totaling $40 million. Then when we reach 150 million subscribers, we'll have five giveaways totaling $16 million each. And the last but not least, 300 million subscribers. And we have to stop there because statistically it's 350 million to win the lottery. Although it's a free giveaway here, which makes it a difference. Totals $160 million in our first giveaway from reaching, once we reach $1 billion, that's our first giveaway. Then go to five giveaways totaling $32 million each. By playing, by playing the algorithm game, five lucky viewers, subscribers, etc will have the opportunity of winning $32 million each. Yeah, I'm buying away myself. And by tickling the algorithms, by you subscribing, notifications, sharing, commenting, and liking as much as possible, I'm quite sure I'm happy to give away $32 million 
for your contribution. So I know that by doing the algorithms correctly, we will all be winners. Thank you. So Mr. Big and myself, I'd like to thank you all for viewing tonight's episode, um, turning one humble dollar into a billion dollar giveaway. And next week, at Fort Hate. Mate, you gotta say to love Australia, don't you? Best place in the world. Check out the scenery, eh? Incredible. Good old Australia, mate.